morning I'm imploring the body of Christ. Amen. To have strong confidence in God. Even when it seems as if it's not working out. Trust me, before the day ends, before the day comes to its close. Amen. Hallelujah. I guarantee you, hallelujah, that the Lord of hosts will come through for us. Anybody believe that? Hallelujah. As with um, many psalms, or many of David's psalms, it is impossible possible to confidently state which period of his life it comes from. This particular psalm come from, comes from. It speaks of trouble from enemies, adversaries, false witnesses, and violent men. But this was a true and this was true of many periods of King David's life. Amen. Some think David penned this psalm before his coming to the throne. When he was in the midst of his troubles. And perhaps upon occasion of the death of his parents. Through the psalm. You will see David, hallelujah, never ask for trouble to come to his enemies. David never prayed a prayer to, for his enemies to die. He never did that. That was never David's aim. His aim was for God to bring light to his life. As you have read a few minutes ago, the psalm with fresh eyes. Notice how David's perspective changed from the time he started to the time he finished the psalm. I wish my mic could be really fixed. You know, and I noticed that enemy. Amen. He said, the Lord is my light. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my vocative. The Lord is my rock. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? My God. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh. Lord have mercy. They stumbled and fell. Where is the church? The one host should encamp against me. Talk to the church of God. Hallelujah. The one host should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear. I refuse to have a heart attack over the situation. I refuse to let my heart fear over the situation. My heart shall not fear the war should rise against me. In this, will I be confident 
Oh Lord, have mercy. The psalmist owned the Lord as his light. And according to Psalm 18, verse 28, for thou wilt light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. The Lord is a light to his people. Church of God, it looks very dark. It looks dim. But God Almighty is our light. Mm. Hey. The Lord is a light to his people. To show them the way when they are in doubt. He is our light to comfort. And rejoice their hearts when they are in sorrow. I wonder the writer said, sorrow is my comfort. And in trouble, he is my stay. He tells me every care. And him to own is the lily of the valley. I wish I have a church up here. He is the bright and morning star. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the wheel in the maker of the wheel. He's the alpha and the maker. He's the beginning and the end. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> It is in his light. David said he's my light. Can we refer to him like that today? He's my light. What about you? <laughs> it is in his light. That they now walk on in their way. And it is in his light. They hope to see the light forever. Light enables us to see. Without light, we would not be able to enjoy all the beautiful colors God has blessed us with in his remarkable creation. It gives us a sense of direction. As children of God, I want to encourage the body of Christ that what I said. As children of God, we need not to be afraid. We need not to fear. Because the Lord is our light. And not only that he is our light, he is the way, the truth, and the life. <laughs> the Lord, he is our salvation. He is our strength. We will not fear what man might do to us. All right. What a quietness. And it's not a holy quietness. We do not fear what man will do to us because the Lord is watching over us. He keeps us and he that keepeth his world neither slumber nor sleep. You hear what Psalm 46 says? He is our refuge. And strength, a very present help. People of God must have stamina. The church of God must have stamina. <laughs> oh Lord, gotta come to learn something in this troublesome time that we are going through, and learn that a lot of church people are doing church 
they don't have a relationship with Almighty God. They don't know Him. They don't know what He can do. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear where the church of God there? You want to look the devil eyeball to eyeball. As if you kill this body, you can't kill the soul. So I'm not afraid of you, devil. I'm not afraid of you. Shatana Bahat no. Ray Baba Koshataya. Yay! And Christ, the solid rock, I stand for all of the ground is sinking sand. Therefore, <laughs> will not we fear? the earth be removed. Bring it on, Satan worshiper. Bring it on. You don't think we know so you have a plan for the church. You want to silence the church, but we shall not fear. Though the earth be removed. And go the mountains. I am a shakaya. I be carried into the midst of the sea. I go the waters be a roar and be troubled. I God Almighty, go the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river. There is a river. The stream thereof. Shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Watch this devil. God is in the midst. God is in the midst of her. She shall not go under. God is in the midst of her. She shall not fall. God is in the midst of her. Is anybody here in this house? God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Lift your hands and give God worship. We are dependent on light for our inventions. And probably just about, if not all, conveniences of life. In fact, this could probably be said about our necessities as well. Light is critical. It is absolutely vital to all of life. Everything is affected by light in some way or another. Even life in caves and in depths of the ocean and under the earth's surface are dependent on light somehow or the other. Light was the very first thing God spoke into existence. He said in Genesis, let there be light. And there was light. Listen to 
to what Jesus said in John 8 and verse 12. I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness. Followers of Christ, we shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So David said, he is my light. And now he said, he is my salvation. Amen, somebody. Only the one true God can save his people, nobody else. This is recorded over and over in the Old Testament as well as the Israelites would conquer pagan lands in the name of their God. God especially showed himself as the mighty God when he would defeat the enemies of his people without them having to raise a single weapon themselves. God deliver. You, you, you don't know the God you serve. You know the God you serve. He told Saul on the road to Damascus. It is hard for you, Saul, to kick against the prick. Amen. When you touch one of God's people, you touch God. Is anybody hearing me in this house? And God will fight for you. As you wish, please God, God will fight. Will fight for you. Look at Look at the great exodus from e Egyptian bondage. What a mighty savior is our God. And all this points to our great deliverer. From sin found only in Jesus Christ. God's son. The Hebrew word translated salvation. Can carry several meanings according to the brown driver Briggs Hebrew lexicon. The word salvation carries in its meaning deliverance, rescue, safety, welfare, prosperity, and victory. When you were saved, a deliver God deliver us. From sin, from the bondage of sin. Hallelujah. What a powerful word, salvation. He is the strength of my life. Not only the protector of my exposed life. Who keeps me from being slain. But the strength of my frail, weak life. Who keeps me from fainting. Who keeps me from sinking and dying away. God who is a believer's light. Is the strength of his life. Not only by whom. But in whom he lives and moves. In God therefore let us strengthen ourselves. Salvation is a manifestation of God's love. John 16 verse, John 3 verse 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. Oh praise God. Christ deliver us from our, our bondage of sin. He set us free to be the people he's called us to be. He gives us a wonderful future. Christ is our rock of safety. Christ is now preparing a dwelling place for us in heaven. Christ says, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. God is our safe place. He is 
our refuge. You see people walking around and looking at asylum in different countries. The best place for you to be is in God. You guarantee protection. You hear that believers? We guaranteed protection in God. Hallelujah. When the hosts of hell encamp around us. Lord Jesus, he give his angels. Where is the church of God? Many of us would have died long ago had it not been that God put an hedge around us. Oh, you don't understand me. From the time that you get saved until now, you're a target to the enemy. The enemy wants you dead. But you shall not die. Oh, somebody hearing me. Mm. Hallelujah. We shall not die. But live to declare. The works of the Lord. God is our safe place. He is our refuge. And of such. He most certainly give us strength. In the midst of hard time. We have to go through something believers. There is a church of God. Amen somebody. Somebody have to tell lie on you. Where are your church? Somebody have to talk about you. Somebody is out to get you. But the Lord's our rock. In him we hide. A shelter in the time of storm. Seek your wanted very be time. A shelter in the time of storm. Jesus is a rock in a weary land. In a weary land. In a weary land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> my God, my God. He give us strength in the midst of hard time. Who can possibly empower our all-powerful God? Who can see me by his all seeing eyes. Who can even prepare apart from his all hearing ears? None. I want to tell I want to tell some people you see who sit and plan some things against the church amen I want to tell you that he is present in every meetings for he is the omnipresent God. Hallelujah. He all glory to God. If you remember the history of David, his own king Saul, for no reason, hated David and wanted him dead. Saul personally chased David throughout the countryside of Israel trying to kill him. 
David's own son, Absalom, almost forced David from his palace into an attempt to take over his own father's kingdom. Yet being a king of Israel also carry with it uh, I mean, the personality of being an aggressor. David was called to fight and make war against Israel's enemies. So when David mentioned false witnesses, and enemies who surround him. He wasn't speaking in platitudes. He was speaking from personal experience. But what I love about David. That although all of that was happening. And David knew. He knew what was happening. He knew the plot. He knew what the enemy was up to. But David's confidence had a completely different source. The Lord is my light. David said, although the path looked dark, I still are see. Because I have a guiding light. The Lord is my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? No matter what for David had faced in his life, the wild animals in the home field, amen, the, the giant named Goliath, amen, the king chosen and anointed by God named Saul, and even his own flesh and blood, the Lord had come to his rescue. No, no worry, no worry, have sleepless night about them, them them don't have no headache about them <laughs> them that is after you them that want to shut you up them that want to see the back of you don't worry about them amen for the lord will come to your rescue The final opponent that is mentioned in the 27th Psalm is David said, my foes. The word foe means hateful, hostile, and an adversary. To truly understand what a foe represents, we need to look at the story of David and Goliath's final individual battle. A shepherd was with Goliath the giant. He has had previous battles with a lion, a bear, and finally a giant. You think we don't have some giant to fight? <laughs> Church of the living God, can I call you to attention? Your battle has just begun. And if you cannot contend with the footmen, how are you going to survive with the horsemen? If you cannot fight with a lion, and win. You cannot fight with a bear and win. How are you going to manage a giant? I come to tell you Halabashando. Children of God, don't look at the size of the giant. For giants do die. 
the bigger they come the harder they fall once your god is with you you can bring down your giant hallelujah Goliath was fully harmed and I believe when he stepped the very place shake but all David the little shepherd boy had oh was just a sling and a couple stones is anybody hear me? I God Almighty, you come to me, I God with sword and with spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. Is anybody here want to declare who God is? My rock. <laughs> He's the all-powerful God. He's my rock of ages. He cleft for me. Oh, somebody give God a shout. He's oh, Rabbi Shando. Somebody give God a shout of praise. Mm. Our foes. Our foes, <laughs> our foes, believers, have some agenda as Goliath. And that is to stop our progress. It's to stop our prosperity. And it's to stop our praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They simply stand in the way. Notice that the lion and the bear come and took something from David. But the giant just stood in the way. <laughs> he never took anything but prevented Israel from going any further. Every day Israel come out and see Goliath. They run back in. It's very statue. Bring fear to the people of God. I want to tell some giants in Jamaica. You have to come down. Ashando Abahandaya. Giants of the world. You have to come down. God have some David ready to bring you down. <laughs> Can I hear me? Some giants. At our workplaces, some giants in this nation, in the world, that are planning some things and putting some things together. <laughs> giants do die. The bigger they come. <laughs> I hope the church hearing me this morning. Goliath was an obstacle. Here is why foes are dangerous. God was positioning David, the shepherd, to become David, the warrior. To become David the warrior. And not only that, but he was on his way to becoming David the king. <laughs> this was a transitioning movement for David. God is trying to position and transition you to move to the next level in him. But you have an obstacle in the way. 
namely your foes, your haters. I think everybody loves your church of God. I know where I am. And I would be a fool to think that everybody. <laughs> oh Lord, I would be a fool. Our foes hinder our blessings. These are the people that do not want you to go higher in the Lord. They are fine with you as long as you don't get ahead of them. <laughs> they get jealous and upset when blessing comes your way. As long as you are struggling, they are with you. But the moment God blesses you, their attitude almost change almost overnight. Their attitude. Talk to your husband up there. Their attitude change. Ever lost on some people? They are struggle. And, 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 and they are the best friend to you. But let them hear say, I, I, I want to kill that demon, you know, in the body of Christ. Let them hear say, you get one little house. The attitude change. Can I tell you, and for those who are in on the social media who don't understand, that's a crab mentality. In Jamaica, when you put crab into a barrel, no one want the other to crawl out. They pull back each other. So everybody remain in the barrel. Nobody is getting out. So as long as as you are struggling, they are with you. But the moment God blesses you, their attitude change. Rather than being happy for you, they begin to despise you. And that's all the devil needs. As long as you are broke down and things are going bad, then they are your so-called friends but the moment things turn around for you they become your foes your haters david's faith in god's word enable him to look at life as if he was walking through life with the most powerful being in the universe hallelujah in his corner there was no reason for him to be afraid. His confidence was in the Lord. From the first verse of the psalm, from these first verses of the psalm, we can appreciate imminent danger that confronted David. And we also see reflect the constant danger that surrounds us on a daily basis. But now we must ask ourselves how was David able and how will we be able to maintain a winning attitude at all times? Don't let the devil see your tears. As children of God, we have to make sure we have a relationship with God. I'm coming down. When God calls you and makes you into a Christian, you can't be a neutral party. You can't be a neutral party. You have to be willing to put your spiritual helmet, your spiritual shield, and your spiritual sword so that you can fight. When you are called into the body of Christ, you are not called to wear pumpers. 
You are called to put on the whole armor of God. For the war has just begun. Amen. Like David, like Abraham, Daniel and the other patriarchs. It isn't that we necessarily go out there and look in a war. More often than that, war comes to us. Nobody walks around and look for war. War comes. <laughs> what are we going to do? Back? What are we going to do? Run? Because some people, when the war comes, they backslide. Like in this pandemic, as if you can't find the believers. Some back out of the race, some in hiding. But as Christian soldiers, we often time sing, the war is on. We can't stay home. We can't sit down. We got to fight. The good fight of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. We came back. The war comes to us. Satan is prowling around like a roaring lion. Seeking someone to devour. On top of that, we live in a world of people who are possessed by Satan. And being led by their own sinful flesh. You can't expect to live in a sinful world without a fight. Hear me, church of God. We, the people of God, can't expect to live in a sinful world without a fight. Fight on, soldiers. Don't give up. David may not have sought this fight, but he didn't back down from them either. Yet, in spite of all this attack on his life and his position from his king and his own children, when David write this psalm, he don't get a sense, and I did not get a sense of fear or intimidation. David was intimidated. We get a sense of confidence. As we look at the con this confidence and read it, I hope and I pray that the Holy Spirit would lead us also to change from lives of fear so that we can live in confidence. We need some more believers who are confident. Confident believers. Hallelujah. Who know the God in whom you serve. You walk with your head high. Because you know the God in whom you serve. You know that the host of hell is against you. And you say bring it on. Because you know the God in whom you serve. When David was in the Lord. And focusing on God. As his light and salvation. It brought a tremendous peace. And confidence in his life. He had a singular purpose in life. One thing he said, I ask of the Lord. This is what I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he, hallelujah, will keep me safe. In his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle. And set me high upon a rock. Then shall my secret all over hand. My head will be exalted above the, my enemies. Who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shout of joy. I will sing and make music. Hallelujah. Oh my God Almighty. I praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Mighty God. 
David said, teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemy. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemy. For false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out currently. He said, I fainted unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. David said, wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say. And the Lord Children of God, David's single, singular purpose was to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. That was a place he felt safest. That was the place that was most secure. That's the place that he was most, that is most confident in the house of worship. Hallelujah. When David started getting stressed out, the first thing he did was to pray confidently, knowing that God would help him after he did this. He had one final thing to say. I am still confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Oh, in this will I be confident. Hallelujah. That I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. Wait for the Lord. He reminded himself that he was going to the land of the living. So he said to, to wait for the Lord. Take heart that the Lord was coming to the rescue. Do we believe that church of God? That the Lord God in whom we serve. The Lord God who came through for our four parents. The Lord God who have fought battles. Many battles for us. What are we thinking? Are we underestimating God? Do we think that this battle that we are facing, amen, he cannot handle? I am confident. Hallelujah. My confidence is in him. That he will come through for us. Job said, even though he slay me, Still, I'm going to trust him. <laughs> In all my appointed time, there is going to be a change for the church. Mando riba kasataya, rabo shikende do bahaya. There is going to be a change. Either from this life to eternity. But there is going to be a change. Stand with me church. I call on the body of Christ. No retreat. No surrender. I call on the body of Christ. Under the Baha'i. Woo! For he that dwelleth. My God, excuse me. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me let me just let me just praise my God. Let me just let me just rejoice in my God. Let me just let me just let me give me a moment. Let me let me just my God Almighty. Give me a moment. Oh, Shakala Bahandaya. Whoa, 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 whoa. At the body of Christ, I'm talking to the body of Christ. Because some of you are in hiding. Some of you are under the juniper tree. My God, some of you are depressed. Oh, God Almighty, but I come this morning to tell you that the church of God is in the secret place of the most high. Where is the church? Hallelujah. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. 
Surely, surely, he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. For the church, right? This is for the church. He shall cover thee with his feathers under his wings. Shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid. <laughs> for the terror by night. Now for the pestilence. Now for the arrow that fly at thy day. Now for the pestilence. That walketh in darkness, not for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Watch them a drop, watch them a fall. For a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But guess what? But it shall not come nigh thee. Look over this and tell your neighbor, I am protected. I am overshadowed. Lord God Almighty, I'm under the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. For thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall me nor shall any plague come thy day for he shall give his angel charge over me they shall bear me up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone church of God we shall tread upon lion and hada Young lion and dragon, whoever them be, shall thou trample on the feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he has no He shall call upon me and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. Deliver him and honor him. So with long life will I satisfy him. I call on the body of Christ wherever you are get back to the place where God wants you to be. Pray your mothers, rise up. It's time to pray. Pray your fathers, rise up. It's time to pray. Hallelujah. I encourage you believers to don't give up. Though the fight is up. Christian soldiers, don't give up. Don't give up. God eternally bless you in Jesus' name.